In our last video, we learned about drawing banana trees, and now we're going to learn how to draw this orange tree here. Okay? And the orange tree um, is kind of spindly, like we just looked at. We looked at a lemon tree, and we looked at an orange tree in our PowerPoint, and um, we kind of saw that it had longer, spindly branches. It wasn't so solid and thick like the previous ones we've drawn. And in um, the Henry Rousseau painting, we're going to have our little monkey maybe hanging on there or have some stuff right next to it. So notice how the branches are long and spindly and overlapping behind things. So here we're going to take um, one straight line and we're going to curve it up and all the way down like this. And we're going to kind of like an upside down J. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side with that. Like that. Okay, now we've got the middle or the top part and we're going to start kind of filling in the branches from the middle out. So we're going to make a variety of U-shapes. I'm just going to start right here and everyone's U-shapes are going to be different. And you can curve those lines as they come out or not. And then I'm going to take another U-shape here and this is going to make the branches. And every time I make a U-shape I make a new set of branches until I get all the way down to that end. Okay, so you can kind of see all those branches coming off. Then I can continue making U-shapes. Right in between here I can make U-shapes and the more U-shapes I make, the more branches I get. Okay, so depending on which U-shapes you make and how you decide to make your U-shapes, you'll get different branches. Okay, so I'm going to kind of continue and work on these U-shapes over here. So I can have a variety of different branches. Now on these branches we need to put some leaves and some fruit. So to make the fruit, super easy, you just put a little stem off and you draw a circle and that's our orange. Okay. And what I would suggest is try to make an odd pattern. You don't want to have all little oranges in a row. Oranges are natural and they're going to grow. Um, in an odd pattern. If you've ever gone apple picking or picking any other kind of fruit, they don't grow in a specific order, they just grow, right? And so little oranges and typically oranges or any kind of fruit is going to hang down, right? Off the tree. Whereas, they, you know, they wouldn't grow straight up and down. Even though the bananas we just looked at did kind of look like they were growing straight up and down. But that's because that's how bananas grow um, based on the flower that they have. Okay, then for little leaves, I would do like almost like our little banana leaves. You're going to put a little line and curve up, curve down, curve down, curve up, and draw some little leaves on there. And you can put the, the little leaf pattern on. Okay, and leaves, they can be growing up, they can be growing down. And when we do this in our painting, we're actually going to use a specific brush stroke to make these leaves. So you don't have to be super detailed when we make our drawing about making these leaves this way. Um, but you do want to make them look different from the uh, orange, oranges. Okay, don't make them look like oranges. So try to curve those sides so they look like leaves. They don't look like oranges. And so as you're drawing, I'm going to let you kind of fill in this space on your own, but make them long and pointy so that they don't look like oranges. Okay, and of course, once we put the color in, 
and we have that green color versus the orange color, that'll make a really big difference as well. Then draw your horizon line when you feel like you're done. Draw your horizon line and there we have all four of our trees for our Henry Rousseau painting. And just to remind you what it looked like, um, this was our Henry Rousseau painting and we got this orange tree into our magical jungle scene. Okay?